yeah don't watch the video that are clickbait because it's not going to help you and don't buy courses because on youtube you have a lot of videos and things that they say in the course you can find it on youtube i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it up in some work and believe okay the question is does photography make good money if you look at the word good money it can have a lot of meaning thing is good money means most uh, most time positive let's say you are rich good money can be okay good money you can live with it but let's say you are poor if you look at good money that means you are making money and that money can pay all for your all of your costs yeah all of your standard costs that you have monthly yeah that's how you can that's that's what good money mean when you look at this question it's interesting to see does photography make good money i will answer the question with no because what you need to ask yourself okay what's your position and what do you need and what do you have where do you want to go see what your position is you need to ask yourself how much money do you need per month in order to um to get along so do you need five thousand do you need six thousand do you need ten thousand or something people only really need five hundred it's up to you but let's say you put a goal let's say i put a goal let's say 2k two and a half k yeah and this is something that i need yeah and where do i want to go that's also important right so I know my goal is to get two two and a half k, right? Okay. When I make that, that's good money, right? When you're starting out, you're never going to make two and a half k in uh, in one of two months. Not going to happen, yeah. Unless you already have a portfolio and you are claiming that you're just starting out. You're lying to yourself, but you already have experience or whatever. But what you need to keep in mind is it's hard to get here yeah you need to build things up so like i said in another video when you have talk about photography you have um sections where you take pictures and you create pictures let's say you create pictures give me one second let's say you create pictures you edit pictures, you upload pictures, it will, they will come in the portfolio. Your portfolio cannot make you this yet. Unless you already have experience and you stop working with your work and you have some clients, you can make this easy. Yeah. But if you have portfolio, you need to build it up. Yeah. And that's why it's important for you to think about, okay, how much money do I really need at the beginning? Yeah. When you know that, you know, okay, I need to build it up. When you build a portfolio and it can make you this much money, then you're good to go. Then you can say, does photography make good money? You can answer the question with yes. But at the beginning, no. It takes time. Some people, it takes like 1,000 pictures, then they see some income from photography. And some people, when they are here, they have, let's say, 500k pictures. That's a lot. Really, that's a lot. And those pictures need to be accepted. And what you need to keep in mind is when you upload a picture in your portfolio, if it will be accepted by an agency, all depends on a lot of things. Most of the time when you upload a picture, people have an acceptance rate of 80% or something. So 20% of the picture you create is worthless. People do not use it. Because do not assume when you create a picture, you can upload them and they will sell. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, you need to also look at, okay, will it be accepted by the agency? So if you look at good money, you need to think about, okay, what is good money for me? And how long does it take for me to get here? How long does it take me to get two and a half K per month? How much pictures do I need? So when you put this goal, let's say I'm aiming for 500 K pictures to get this 500 K. You can get more than that. Huh? I can tell you that for sure, but 500 K is a lot of pictures seriously that's a lot of pictures even videos yeah so 500k picture is a lot 
can go down to 100k or 10k it doesn't matter you can go down but really it's a lot when you have this you upload in the portfolio if it will be accepted then you can make money from it yeah then this is about stock photography right but then you have you go meet the client and you take picture of them so um your photo shoot let's call it a photo shoot yeah f shoot yeah and doing the f shoot you can create pictures of people they pay you to edit those pictures and yeah they pay you to edit those pictures and then you give them the pictures right um the problem with this is cost time to take go to the sh um, to the place take picture and you need to edit them so two times right that's not a problem if you have clients and you like doing this you can do this and you can get money from it it's easy to get this right if you have let's say 10 20 10 or 12 clients photo shoot you can get here photo shoot around 500 or more then you can get here it should be fine yeah thing is it's hard to get 12 clients per month because people must think okay you know what i can create picture with my phone and that's much better what they realize what they don't realize is a phone has a small focus point while a camera the dslr camera that's that's at least 10 six and that's a big difference because when you look at pictures on instagram or pictures that were added with photoshops you can see the different quality because these pictures will be let's say 5 5 mb big and this one will be 35 of high it depends what kind of what resolution is and here in this you have in this picture that created dslr you have more information and you can edit it in photoshop while on phone doesn't have and because a lot of people see a lot of pictures every day they think it's the same but most of the time i can see when i look a picture on instagram or other places i can see okay that one is made with dslr or that one is made with a uh, phone you can see that even you can see that if you look the different for example go to instagram now look at pictures of your friends and go to pond five or shorter stocks and look at those pictures you will clearly see the difference so keep that in mind but people always have the idea you know what i can create them with my phone it's the same quality but when you have the phone it has a small lens yes you can create the same quality but there's a condition you have to have good lighting if you don't have good lighting picture with your phone is not good and most time you can take it outside that's why you can use your phone it's easy yeah sometimes i'll be like yeah i can use my phone it's easy yeah or sometimes just use an old dslr is much better than a phone so keep that in mind but what you need to keep in mind is people see a lot of pictures a day and they take a lot of pictures a day with their phone the phone can take good pretty good pictures because they see it on a small screen the slr is more for a bigger screen that's something you need to keep in mind and sometimes it's hard to convince people that photography is luxury if you cannot convince them let them go because if you don't let them go you're gonna chase them to become client and at the end of the day they will not uh, not be satisfied they cannot explain you cannot explain to them why they need to pay you for that much for that service so let them go focus on people that really want you uh, a thing that you can test out is create a black and white picture upload it on instagram and you will see that you will get much more like than the normal pictures yeah because the black and white people see a lot of colors and black and white is um is something different yeah so try to keep that in mind when you do something it's funny when you test that out so if you look at the question does photography make good money depends on the def definition of good money and if you have a photography business or if you want to start out as a photography business try to look at different way to earn money but make sure that if you're starting out as a noob or a starter doesn't matter how you call it not to offend you or whatever try to figure out what can i do today that can help me tomorrow that's simple because do not assume that you can get on the first day a lot of clients it doesn't work like that yeah and there are a lot of people out there that create videos that are helpful but most of the time on youtube you have people that create video with the mindset hey i need to create clickbait and hey i need to get watch time 
that's simple i understand that they need to get um, views and watch time but that doesn't help you reach your goal what you need to do is think about that okay who are the youtubers or who are the people that can give me valuable information that i can use yeah don't watch the videos that are clickbait because it's not going to help you and don't buy courses because on youtube you have a lot of videos and things that they say in the course you can find it on youtube if not <laughs> then i'm curious what they say but most of the things you can find on youtube seriously so if you have question about this what you can do is just go in the discord you press here on the link in the description you go to the law center you can go there and ask me questions directly if you have some legal issue copyright or whatever contract what you can do is we have a legal session and during the legal session you can get free legal advice you can press here and then you can get more information about that and if you find this information useful you'll be like okay you know what hey i want to support you you press here buy me coffee we also have a um, legal podcast right by the way i almost forgot we have a legal podcast you can listen to all these things if you don't have time to watch the video but if you want to support me you can go here and press buy me coffee and when you press buy me coffee you arrive on this link on this link you can buy me coffee you can choose to support me by buying me one coffee three coffee or five coffee i'm going to make coffee soon yeah. and if you want to say something nice you can say something nice if you want to say something rude say something rude i will read it and i appreciate the way you do it uh, not when you say something rude you can say something rude or something nice it depends on you just support me and if you think if you think okay you know what i want to support you by become a member there are the benefits are down here you can see the benefits here below and here you can find the also the description about the benefits of the membership and if you have questions about the membership you can ask me just on the discord yeah and yeah, just support me, buy me some coffee. I'm going to make some coffee and then see you next video. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gonna get it. You hear me, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie, she will be.